Welcome to Hylix. This is a very strange game made by Mason Lindroth. I feel like trying to describe it would be pretty pointless, so I'm not even going to attempt to. I've actually played one other game made by Mason Lindroth before, called Beachcomber, which I really enjoyed, so I'm hoping I enjoy this just as much. As always, if you'd like to play this for yourself, you can find some more information in the description. Alright, so I've only played for a couple minutes so far, so I'm going into this pretty much as blind as you are. So let's jump in and explore together. Alright, so I'm in control of this entity, is I think the only way I can describe what I am. A platinum crystal partially forgets the mirrors. The people approach beside a fate. It is a fate beside a offending life. It is like a promise. Despite homunculus. Meanwhile, Gibby, king of the moon, destroys a color inside the beast ray. Um, <laughs> this is like word salad to me. I don't even know what this means. Also, I'm pretty sure this is actually different than the text that displayed last time I played through this introduction. So I think it might be randomized. Thus your story begins. Yeah, I think it is randomized. Okay, so what am I? I'm an entity on a very small island. There's an umbrella. There's a car embedded in the island. And something that's flickering and it looks like it's perhaps powered. And some sort of a, like, clay-colored blob on the ground next to me. Yeah, so just like Beachcomber, most of the art, if not all of it, is actually made from clay. Like, actually physically molded by hand with clay, and then, uh, I guess, they probably took pictures of it and digitized it that way, I'm guessing. So the whole thing has a very, uh, very rough and handmade feel. Something that I've really never seen in any game before that I can think of. I, I can't think of any game that looks like this. Alright, let's flip the switch on Act 1. Better activate crystal, crystal before I head out. I love the walking, or, well, I guess running animation. <laughs> Look at that, it's amazing. Alright, so who am I? I am Wayne. Flesh 50, will 100. Yeah, the, the uh, description for this game mentioned that it has light RPG elements, or uh, JRPG elements, rather. So this is somewhat similar to what I've seen from JRPGs. You've got powers, and you've got armor and stuff like that, and it's all equipped through a menu like this. So pretty familiar with that. Wayne is feeling fatal. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Although my flesh is 50 out of 50, so I can't be doing too bad, at least physically. Maybe Wayne is not doing so well mentally. Hmm. But then again, Wayne's jollility is 12. That's not bad. I feel like a jollility of 12 means that he's pretty happy. Strange that you're feeling fatal, Wayne. Get dressed. Looks like I've got a pistol on. Alright, let's look around. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> look at the face on the top left of the screen. That cat seems very... unimpressed. It's your life savings. You got 53 bucks. Yay, I'm poor. Unless currency counts for a lot more in this world than it does in the real world. I can only hope. What's on the TV? Learned ablative hollow pleather. I don't know what that means, but I guess it's a new ability. Can I find that in my list of powers? Yeah, there it is. Hollow pleather. What the heck is a hollow pleather? Uh, Alright, he said he's supposed to... 
My character said that I'm supposed to use the crystal. What does it do? Is that save? Ooh, it's musical! I like it. I'm guessing that is a save, but then again, there's also a save here. Hmm. If this is the actual save, then what's the crystal? Yeah, so that's the actual save. What's the crystal? Other than the thing that makes really pretty noises. Let's go upstairs. I'm not too comfortable with massive beetles being inside of the bathroom. <laughs> they also seem unimpressed. I don't know if you can see their, their eyes, because they're so tiny, but they seem very, very unimpressed. Maybe you should bathe. Okay. Your flesh and will were restored. Oh, so that's where you go to heal, basically. Replenish your health and your, essentially your mana. Gotcha. Warm burrito was found. Um, I'm sorry, did I just pick up a warm burrito from inside of the toilet in my beetle-infested bathroom? I'm not okay with this. What, what does it do? Is it a healing item? Things. Revives dead ally and restores 50% of flesh. Okay, yeah, so it's a... <laughs> It's not just a healing item, it's actually a reviving item. Toilet paper was found. Uh, wait, did I take it? No. Unless... Oh, it's... Wait, it's an outfit? Can be worn as rudimentary body armor. I can wear toilet paper as body armor? Okay. Uh, maybe not through here. What do I do? Uh, get dressed? Oh, there we go. Yeah. I just equipped toilet paper. I don't know if it actually... Hold on, did that actually improve my stats? Let's see. Optimize. Yeah, it looks like my mightiness went from 15 to 16 because of the toilet paper. Oh, I don't get to see the toilet paper actually wrapped around me, visually. I'm a little bit disappointed. Touch the crystal again for fun. Watch the TV again for fun. Can I learn a new ability? Another one? I just learned the same ability. Okay, let's go outside. You accidentally crushed it. Damn it, Wayne! Come back here. Chip, chip. Oh, it's a little clay squirrel. Trash can lid was found. All right, at least this one I didn't crush. Trash can lid. Would that be like a shield, basically? Let's see if I can equip it. Oh, deflector. Yep, there we go. So what did that do? Didn't seem to increase my stats, but maybe it's used during combat or something. I like that this hand coming out of the ground looks like it's giving me a thumbs up. It's like it's saying, yeah, man, keep on doing what you're doing. Thanks, hand sprouting out of ground. Can always count on you to cheer me up. I'm just kind of trying to use everything, so I'm not sure what's interactive and what isn't. Hey. You rocking out to some dunes? Oops, I think I might have skipped dialogue there. To the northeast is the Platinum City of... Uh... Garmapaluanix. Garmapaluanix. May its crystal endure 1,000 years. Uh... Yes. Let's just talk again. My feeling? Who digests my hideous feeling? Someone's digesting above its kind of forbidden vessel? What? 
it's nonsense. Oh. I think I just changed the music. Yeah, it looks like I did. I guess that's a boombox. I just love how this game looks. Oh my god. This is kinda big. Uh, let's go back. I wanna finish with this area before I leave. <gasps> what is that? Are you like a... a llama? Uh, I'm not really sure how to voice act that. A uh, north Yeah. Nailed it. Acquired a vegetable. Oh, I can pick him. I love the way that they kind of like, uh, almost melt. Is somebody gonna get pissed at me for, like, picking the entire garden? I hope not. So, what do they do? Heals 50% of flesh and removes a negative status. Okay, so just general healing potions, basically. And I've got a heck of a lot of them. I think that might be it for here. Let me see if I can get on the right side. Because there's a trash can over there. No! Oh yeah, here we go. No! Go back! It's not gonna reset my position, is it? Oh, it did. Alright, gotta be really careful here. Don't go off the right side of the screen. You are mine, trash can. What is inside of you? Whoa! There's 47 bucks in here! I... I just found almost as much as my entire life savings in a trash can. That means either there was a lot of money in this trash can, or my life savings are very small. And I know which one is more likely. Alright, let's go somewhere new. Yeah, it looks like there's, like, half a dozen to a dozen places to visit. Mysterious Tower. Oh, I can't actually go here. I can just look at it. Uh. What, what did I just get into? Oh, wait, I can... Actually pilot this thing? Oh my god, I just got into a boat. And does this open? And I can go outside here? No? Hmm? I can just get in this boat whenever I want, but it looks like I'm trapped in here for now. Maybe eventually... Yeah, I guess eventually I can probably open up this this gate here and then go to the other islands. <laughs> That's really cool. Alright, one day. One day. That day is not two day. It's three day. You don't look friendly. Nope, you look like some sort of evil Cthulhu creature. Do not touch the ambulant skulls or you will die. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I've got a warm burrito, don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, I've got to follow the path. Uh, you okay, sir? Looks like... Looks like that person's experiencing head pain. To initiate warp, make contact with the central node. Unauthorized access is discouraged. Thank you for understanding. Warp. Warp to where? Uh, hi. Correct. Mountains may suffer thy homunculus, yet dirts may destroy of your mountain. That doesn't mean any anything. I'm just gonna keep going. The warp access is currently infested. The creatures fear the dotted red line and will not cross it. Enjoy your time in the warp access. Alright, so I'm safe on this side of the red line, I guess. 
Well, maybe I can clear the infestation. There's a lot of them. Oh my god. Hi. I'm just gonna stay here, on the other side of the red line. Yeah, they're trying to get to me. I guess I should try to fight him. Here we go. Let's see how this works. <laughs> uh, special? Alright, so Hypno Sigils probably causes enemies to fall asleep. Uh, cool. Guards and heals 30% of HP. Okay, so I don't need that yet. Do I want to make my enemies fall asleep? Sure. Yeah, use it on all foes. AoE. AoE sleeping spell. Yeah, look at these symbols. Fall asleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Okay, cool. Two of them are asleep, and one just hit me for a lot of damage. Ow! Oh my god. If two are asleep and one just hit me, and that one almost killed me in one hit, then I am gonna die. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't do this yet. Mmm. Well, I need to heal at this point, right? Use a vegetable. <laughs> it's like I made it grow and then I ate it. Okay, ow. Uh, Alright, so now they're all woken up, so next time they're gonna do three attacks against me. I don't know if I can do this. Uh, let me try Hypno Sigils again. Maybe if I can make them all go to sleep. It looks like it maybe hurts me to use it. Uh, sleep. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is good. Okay, I think maybe they're all asleep, I'm not quite sure. I really do need to heal, though. And the next turn I need to attack. Okay, they're all sleeping, good. I just stabbed my fingers and did damage? Sweet, do it again. Ow. Okay, um, how much health do they have? I can't tell. Come on, I haven't even killed one? Alright, I need to heal again. And then I need to make them go to sleep. There's a lot of battle text popping up at the top left, but it's going by too fast. Yeah, I think I came here too early. Oh my god, I just died. What? Wayne! No! Ew! Ooh. Hmm. It didn't revert me to my save. So maybe it's not quite a game over. Uh, where am I? And why are there fish dying on the ground? You can use the machine over there to convert any meat you found into flesh points. Ugh. Do I need to, like, rebuild myself by... Putting meat into this meat grinder? That is disgusting. Thou art born as the flowers, and wilt linger thine own short space and die. Televise melancholy theory, texturize her lar- What? That doesn't mean anything! What? I have no meat to grind. I can't use the fish? I guess not. Alright, let's go find some meat. Can't use the crystals. The executive balcony is down the stairs. Only those who have died three times are allowed there. You need to die two more times. That's interesting. So it's this is really, really cool. Dying isn't just a game over. It's not just a simple game over and reload your save. You actually go to a new place with its own set of rules. Based on how many times you've died and grinding meat and stuff, and yeah, it's that's really interesting. This one seems activated. Don't know what touching it does, but oh well. Sounds nice at least. You can build sandcastles on the beach. Try using the space bar a little higher up the beach. Oh, also this fish is dying. Can't you push the poor thing into the ocean? Look at it, it's suffering. 
That's so cool. Oh my god. And you can destroy them too. Oh, you destroy them just by walking over them. You can make sandcastles. Beautiful, beautiful sandcastles. Which, ironically, are actually made out of clay. And then you can destroy them. You can create whole cities and destroy them in an instant. I don't know if this, like, accomplishes anything, but it's really cool. I like it when games have things that don't accomplish anything. Like, strictly speaking, in terms of gameplay, they're not needed to progress or something like that. But just when the game allows you f the freedom to just play around. Just for the sake of it. It looks like there's a little cave in there, but uh, first let's go to the left and see if there's anything on the left side of the beach. Also, can I go into the water? Oh, I can swim. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, drown, am I? Nope. Alright, looks like we have to go to the right. You seem happy. I think I can hear a TV set behind this wall. If I had dynamite, I could break through. Uh, give dynamite or don't. Wait, I have dynamite? Since when did I have dynamite? Uh, sure. You don't have any dynamite. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Uh, so where do I get dynamite? Toss fish in the ocean. Oh, wait a minute, you can? Hold on, let me test this. Huh. Oh, there we go. I just did it. Yeah, so it just presents you with different options, depending on how many times you use it, I guess. Alright, there we go. Oh, I did something productive. Other than making an entire city of sandcastles. That was also productive. So maybe if I keep talking to the fish up here, I could do something with them? Yeah. I'm not even gonna read that because it, does, it doesn't even mean anything. Alright, so these first two repeat. And then the third one just seems random. Feel free to crash on the couch. Oh. Alright, thank you. Take a nap on the couch. Sure. Maybe that's what I do to get out of here? Amid the lilies floats the moth. The mole along his galleries goeth in the dark earth. Your flesh and will were restored. Oh. Am I good now? Touch an active crystal to tether the portal. Oh, that's what you used to warp. Hey, kitty, how you doing? Still unimpressed. Cool. How am I doing? Do I still have my things? Yep, still got my warm warm toilet burrito, ten vegetables. Everything's restored. Let's save. Alright, let's go somewhere else that isn't going to kill me. Unless I could maybe just run past them. Hmm. Well, you know what, forget that. Let's just go here this time. Uh, this is Garmapaluanix. Someone hydrates thy revolving gland, so apparel hydrated thy fate. Revolving gland? Huh.
So many interesting creatures. Meat. What does meat do? Remnant of a sentient being you destroyed? It might come in handy later. Oh, right, I can grind it up. My head lies Mount Mangfrit. Beware of the wicked cone cultists. Alright, I'll heed your warning. Uh, I'm not going to read all the text. Some of it just doesn't make any sense. If it doesn't make any sense to me, I'm not even going to bother reading it. Now, these look like enemies, but mm, maybe they're not. Are you an enemy? Mm, nope. Just makes an ominous, ominous throaty noise. Welcome to, to Garmapal... I, I need to pronounce this right. Garmapaluanex. Luanex. Luanex. Garmapaluanex. The Platinum City. I grow the insects. Is that what these things are? Walking around you? Treasure? Ooh, a stick of dynamite in the box. Of course you take it. <gasps> Dynamite, dynamite! Now I kind of just want to get myself killed so I can go back there and give it to the person. Hmm. Maybe I can go back there on my own. <laughs> this music. I love it. Frozen burritos can be effective projectiles. Feel safe when you walk outside. Oh, you're a store. Mm, how much does that sell for? Ten bucks. Don't really have any reason to sell anything yet. Uh, let's see. Juice box or store's will? 80% juice, 20% box. <laughs> Frozen burrito, may be used as a projectile, as he said. Heat up in a microwave to create a semi-edible food item. Only semi-edible? Hmm. Let's buy a juice box. And that's a microwave, isn't it? Yeah, microwave or frozen burrito. Uh, I don't have one, but sure. Uh, I don't have one. Please speak at me over the counter. Uh, sorry. Didn't mean to disregard your, uh, your rituals. Didn't want to disrespect you. <clears throat> Have you heard about our bleak cellophane? <laughs> what do you sell? Oh, this stuff is expensive. Prevents blind status. Oh, if only I had the money. I shouldn't have bought that juice box. Bad juju. 20% of wearer's normal attacks inflict poison status. Hmm. That's good. Allows wearer to wield two weapons. Ooh. That'd be nice. Wait a minute. The other person... Uh, from the other person, I could buy dynamite for 5,000, right? So, how much can I sell the dynamite for? Oh, only 250? Bleh. I'm gonna save it then. Oh, I've come out upstairs. Hold on, did I explore everything down here? Looks like there's actually three ways up. Spiky. Your beast? What sustains your zesty beast? Someone sustaining near that gentle memory. I, I don't know why I read that. That didn't make any sense either. Alright, let's go this way. Ooh, trash can. More money? 
Or nothing? Nothing. Disappointment. Jesus, where the heck am I now? Is this a box? What's in the box? Juice box was found. I found a box in a box. That's ironical. Hey, what's going on? If you want to use the tub, it's going to be 25 bucks. Uh, tub restores your health and mana fully, right? No thanks, don't need that. You stink. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Who's working above his dirt? Who manifests the sustenance below our domicile? It is partially his tyranny. Oh, there we go. So now I think that means I can warp here. You can learn special abilities from the televisions, which are scattered throughout this realm. Alright, so watch TV. Gotcha. Oh, and here I've just come back here, which is where I came out before. Alright, so things are linking up. <laughs> I love how they're dancing in time with this, like, banana mustache thing. Do 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 do. My armors will raise your maximum flesh points. Some have additional bonuses. Behold their magnificence! Let me guess, they're expensive. Eh, torso shell's cheap. Hmm. I need money. I really need money. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything for now. Alright, so it looks like we need to go into the center if we want to go up more. So let's go back down. Or, wait a minute, did I go this way too? I can't remember. No, I haven't. Alright, it must be another salesman. Need an instrument for stabbing or bludgeoning. Okay, so you sell weapons. Bat. So it looks like it does more damage than my pistol. So maybe I should buy it. I probably should buy it. I find it hard to believe a bat does more damage than a pistol, though. It's either a really good bat or a very bad pistol. Yeah, let's get it. And then of course we need to equip it. There we go. I've got toilet paper, a trash can lid, and a bat. Yeah, I'm ready for battle. Alright, let's go up the center. The cult permits nothing to leave Mangfrit. In this way, they hope to promote a reverse erosion. These look like bones. I can't do anything with them. That doesn't mean anything. This is Mount Mangdefrit, and I'm guessing there's gonna be enemies up here. Are you enemies? I think you're enemies. Yeah, you're an enemy. Oh, three? I thought it was just attacking one. Okay, um... I hope they don't do too much damage. The shifting background is so... like... disorientating. Alright, let's try to put them to sleep. Alright, so two fell asleep, and one did ten damage. That's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's attack the one that is not sleeping. I took ten more damage. That's not good. Hmm, should I heal now? Probably should.
All right, let's attack again. There we go, finally. I actually managed to kill something. I'm guessing they're probably... Yep, they just woke up. Mm, should I put them back to sleep? I probably should. Let's do it. Sleep, and... The other one's already sleeping. Okay, so we're good. Yay! 150 bucks found, ooh. So looks like you get a lot of money from combat. Meat found, meat found, juice box found, meat found. <laughs> they just turn into a pile of goo. Uh, get away from me! Um, should I heal? My health is okay, my will's kinda low, maybe I should drink a juice box. I probably should, let's do it. Oh, that's something different in the middle. Once again, let's open up with trying to put everybody to sleep. Sleep, sleep, oh, failed. Alright, so I failed the one on the right, so let's just attack the one on the right. Two hits should kill them. Yes, okay. Sleeping, sleeping. They're both still sleeping, so there's no reason to do anything else yet. Let's attack... Oh yeah, so these are the cone cultists that the one person told me to watch out for. Let's attack the thing in the center. This is a cultist, and this is a cone statue, so I guess I'm attacking a living statue. Oh, I missed. Still sleeping. Oh, I attacked the wrong one. Whoops. My bad. Alright, let's keep attacking the one on the left. There we go. Uh, I think it's no longer sleeping, but that's okay. I'm just gonna wait. Ah, oh, I keep missing. I think it's because it blinded me or something. Let's guard. Yeah, let's keep guarding. Okay, I'm no longer blinded. There we go. So now we can attack. Although, maybe I should heal. Uh, let's, yeah, let's heal. Yeah, it does quite a bit of damage. Alright. Come on. There we go. Oh my god, how much health do you have? I think I need to heal again. How much health do you have? Uh, let's try this. Heals 3% of HP and guards. There we go. 175 bucks found. Frozen burrito, meat, meat. Go ahead and save. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I, uh That's the one thing I tend to not like about JRPG kind of combat, is it tends to get really repetitive. I don't really want to fight anymore. Oh, that's just money lying on the ground. Cool. I think I can avoid them, though, if I just keep running. Money, 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 money. Give me money. I like money. Money's good. Money's green. Money buys things. Ooh, am I safe in here? You're not an enemy, are you? I'm named... Dedismon. I've spent my life searching for the paper cup. I finally tracked it to these ruins. It is buried somewhere amidst the fallen monuments. Looking for a cup, huh? I sympathize. Sure, I'll help. Ah, you are a fellow artifact seeker, perhaps? If you can bring me the paper cup, I will be so unimaginably stoked. You can try to dig for it by pressing the space key while standing over the artifact's location. You can determine the location by using the machine in my tent. Turn it on and then take a nap. It will project a vision into your mind. <laughs> Okay. Large up. Huh? 
large up? What? Alright, let's uh, get the vision. Maybe after we have a drink of water. Reservoir of clear liquid atop a pedestal. That's called water. It's some kind of machine from the old times. The technology is far beyond your ken. At least for now. Oh my god, I'm gonna go to sleep while those noodly appendages massage my scalp. Alright. Sleep here? Sure. Alright, so this is my vision. X marks the spot. Uh, so it looks like... Hmm. How do I read that? It looks like it's almost equidistant from those three landmarks, I guess? From the thing that looks like intestines next to the thing that looks like intestines next to the thing that looks like a hand. It's three dots this way, three dots this way, and four dots that way. Whatever that means. Obviously that's not to scale, probably. It could be to scale, I guess. You know what? It probably is to scale. Because each dot is one step. Because your character moves on a grid. Yeah. Okay, so if I see things that look like that, then I'll know where to go. Uh, hi. Oh, look at the little birdies over on the right. Hey. They're the only thing, things that look kind of normal. Everything else is all noodly. I am the Sage of Brains. I grant you my token. Sage's token. Seek my siblings, the Sage of Computers and the Sage of Death. They will also give you tokens. For therein lies the path to enlightenment. Uh, cool. Thank you. I will keep an eye out for them. Alright, I feel like I've been enlightened. Although I do have to wonder, if this device shows you where to find the thing, then how come he hasn't found it himself by using the device? It's a bit strange, isn't it? Alright, let me see if I can find it. Without running into these enemies. Oh, oh, oh there's so many- oh no. No, 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 oh my god, there's four of them. <laughs> Alright, gonna try my best. I've gotta put them all to sleep, like, there's no way I'm gonna live if they're all attacking me at the same time. Come on, sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Failed! Okay, so we're going for the statue. Except, oh no, but I'm blinded. So I can't even hit the statue, right? Alright, I'm gonna go for the one on the left, I guess, then. I missed. <laughs> Can I run? I guess I'll just guard until the blinding goes away, maybe? Because I'm just going to keep missing, right? Oh, I managed to hit there. Their mightiness keeps going up. No. Oh, they're waking up. Blind them again. I probably should go for the statue, honestly. Because it is the thing making the shining, but the problem is... Oh god, I failed on, like, everything. The problem is the statue takes so many hits to attack, but... <sighs> nah, I've got to take out the, the DPS, basically, I think. Oh my god, they just recovered. Can I run? I'm dead. There's no, there's no point even continuing this. I, I mean, I guess I could try my frozen burrito. I could use my dynamite, but I'm not going to use it. No way. I'm going to save that. Alright, frozen burrito. Take out the statue. Oh! I missed. 
What a waste. I can't do a damn thing. No, I think I'm too low level for this place, honestly. Then again, I felt too low level for the other place, too. Hmm. Let's escape. I've started to escape. Good. Oh, oh come on. Escape. Okay. Whew. There's so many of the- Oh, fuck, I'm trapped! What is that thing? That thing is big and looks different. I don't like it. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. It would take so long to clear all these out. I'm, I'm not fighting them. Alright, so I'm looking for the landmarks where the cup is buried. Let's go ahead and save again. Come on. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, it's, it's right, right in there. Except I'm gonna get freaking stuck in here. Okay, uh, I need to like lead them here. Yes. Okay. There we go. Acquired paper cup. Yes. Run. 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 Oh my god. Take the paper up with you and run. That's a walking television. What? Do I need to watch it? I think I need to watch it because it might give me like an ability or is it an enemy? I need to watch you. Come here. Give me an ability, please. G give me. Give me an ability. An ability. Space shurikens. Space shurikens? Are we in space? Or are the shurikens made of space? I don't know, it's cool either way. Run! I kinda wanna test out the new ability, but not before I give him the paper cup. Oh, there's a pile of money, I want, I want the pile of money. Give me the pile of money. Oh god, I'm gonna get trapped. Oh, we're good. Keep getting stuck on things. Ooh, another pile of money. Okay, as long as I keep the text up, they can't attack me. So let's wait a second until they're not touching me. Come on, come on. Run! Oh, no. Oh, come on. I might get trapped in like a loop here. Oh my god. I might have to use my space shurikens just to escape. Okay, I moved. I did something. Okay, whew! Hey, here's your paper cup. The cup! You found it! I'm an expert in the usage of the paper cup. Please allow me to accompany you. One day, we may come across another artifact from the old times, which will require the paper cup. I mean, obviously the paper cup is meant to be used on the water. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay. I will guide you when the time comes. Uh, why are you following me? We can use the paper cup with this machine! Your companion places the paper cup into a recess on the front of the machine and depresses a small blue lever. Fluid flows from the reservoir into the paper cup. You drink it, and... Your will is permanently increased by 25 points. Ooh! Nice. We just drank all the liquid in there? That was like... That was like five gallons or something. This reservoir is depleted. It is useless forever now. Perhaps there are more machines like this in some distant land. We must find them. Onwards! Are you just gonna follow me? Oh! They've actually joined my party. Well, that's gonna make me a lot more effective in combat. Like, a million times more effective. What kind of equipment do you have? Just optimize. You've got a dirk. You've got 80. Well, they've got more flesh than I do. 80, and my max is 65. Hmm, I need to heal.
Alright, well now that I've got a party of two, and I've learned a new ability, and I've increased my will, I think I can maybe kill some of these things. Some of these cultists. And walking statues and whatever else might be here. Uh, yeah, I kind of I don't want to kill too many of them, because again, it really gets tedious, but I do want to test out my new ability. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode, so I'm just going to save my game here. Alright, so, so far this game is... well, it's pretty much what I thought it would be in the sense that it's very, very strange. And it did say it had light JRPG elements, and indeed it does. But... I really like it. I really like it. I hope it doesn't get too tedious with having too many enemies. You know, I hope you can just avoid most of them like I just did. Because other than that, I just really enjoy it. The art style is so interesting. The music is strange, but also interesting. It's just, it, it's bizarre, but I'm really fascinated about what I'm going to find, because I really have no idea what the heck I'm going to find next. It's just, it's just so bizarre. But in an interesting way, not just, not just completely random bizarreness. It's, I mean, it's fairly random, but it's not completely random. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'll test out my space shurikens.